Every light casts a shadow, yet without light, shadow cannot be. Um, is my house safe? Look how bright it literally just got after I asked that question. What's going on guys? Hope you guys are having the most blessed day of your entire lives. We're back with another video. Sorry, I'm having trouble understanding right now. Please try a little later. Okay. Guys, today we're going to be playing the Eye in the Shadows game. You guys have been DMing me, requesting me to do another 3 a.m. game. So that's what we're doing. We're going to play the Eye in the Shadows game at 3 a.m. So... What is the Eye in the Shadows game? Well, I'm gonna give you guys a little overview of that right now, as soon as I close my window. The Eye in the Shadows. In practice, the Eye in the Shadow is a sort of amalgam of a variety of other games, namely the Midnight Man and the Answer Man. It is also not super well written. The original version is very confusing and is a little over all over the place and I think trying to accomplish a bit too much. Let's just go over the requirements. The requirements are you need to have a candle, a mirror, and the mirror should have a stand or otherwise capable of standing on its own. So we're gonna use my mirror in the office, which your boy just cleaned. By the way, you know, your boy's the laziest person on the world, but I cleaned the mirror, so get ready to see a dashingly, dashingly handsome man in a dashingly clean mirror. So one mirror, that's able to stand on its own, one sterilized pin, one piece of paper, one writing implement, matches or a lighter, a clock or a timekeeping device, my phone, and a room in which it is quiet to play in, which is the office where we're gonna be playing. Begin after nightfall. We're gonna do it at 3 a.m. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna start reading this at three o'clock in the morning. So I'll be back. Your boy did a great job at cleaning this mirror. Three o'clock in the morning, we are prepared to start and look how clean that looks. Also, check this out. Look what I'm rocking, I love these shorts. Uh, my merch is also out, link in the description below. Go check out my merch, canonmerch.com, Ali H Collection. Check it out, check out the Never Give, what am I doing? Check out the Never Give Up Collection. <laughs> Begin after nightfall. So it is now 3.04 a.m. We're about to play the game. Gather your supplies, go to the, the quiet room. Shut your curtain, curtains as tightly as you can. It is recommended that you clear the space or building of pets and people. So I made sure there is no pets in this room. So no pets in this room, Emma's not here. The pets are actually in the living room right now. Um, I don't want them in here while I do this. So you guys are gonna come with me while I close these curtains. Do, 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 do. Curtain. Curtains are now closed. Wonderful. Okay. So the next step is to draw an image of an open eye on the piece of paper. So we have our eye right here. Prick your finger with the sterilized pin until blood is drawn. Place at least one drop of blood on the drawing of the eye. Great. All right, so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm not gonna show myself pricking myself with the pin. It's actually not a pin, I have to use a nail. And I'm not gonna be able to show you guys pricking myself because the video will get demonetized. I'm drawing the eye. So I'm gonna prick my finger and get a little bit of blood on the eye. So I'll be right back. Blood on the eye and painful finger. Oh, uh, okay, turn out the lights. All right, so we're gonna, I guess we gotta sit in front of the mirror now, which is what we are gonna do. Next step, turn out the lights, place the mirror in front of you in such a way that you may view your own reflection within it. You may do this on the floor, on a table, or another flat surface. Place the drawing face up on the floor or table between yourself and the mirror. Light the candle and then repeat the following. Okay, so I'm going to go get a little tripod and put that behind me so you guys can see me. And we're going to do this. Before we go further into this, I need you guys to do me a massive favor. I need you guys to like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Because your boy actually posts some fire TikToks. Like legit they're good it's quality and they're actually pretty funny and I, i'm big into meme tiktok so that's what i do hello wow this is so trippy and creepy because i'm staring at you guys right now through the mirror uh anyways i'm freaking myself out um okay so oh actually you know what before we go further again i'm sorry i actually really like this quote 
Um, so I wanted to share this with you guys. It says, no amount of guilt can change the past. No amount of anxiety can change the future. So go out and get it now. For all you dreamers out there, all you believers out there, all you go-getters, um, I think that quote's out for you guys. If you're like me and you have a lot of guilt in your past, uh, this quote really you know, hits you. Um, if you're also like me and you get anxious about the future, this also hits you there. Um, I don't know why I had to share that with you guys. I just thought it would be cool. Um, so for all any of you guys that are going through stuff or anything like that, there's hope. And I hope that quote really helps you guys. Place the mirror in front of you in such a way that you may view your own reflection within it. So you guys can see my reflection and I can see you guys. Place the drawing face up between yourself and the mirror. Light the candle and repeat the following. Alexa, turn off office. Okay. Okay, you know what? That's scary. I'm going to turn on. Okay, no, we got to do it like this. All right. I am so scared right now, guys. Oh my God. Come on, light, 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 let's go, come on. All right, we got our candle here. It's lit. Repeat the following chant four times. Ethri, ethri, scientia, est scientia, intellectum ad intelligum. Every light casts a shadow, yet without light, shadow cannot be. Dispel the darkness of ignorance. Bring light of truth from the shadows. Ethiri, ethiri, scientia, est scientia, intellectum ad intelligum. Every light casts a shadow, yet without light, shadow cannot be. Dispel the darkness of ignorance. Bring the light of truth from shadows. Ethiri, ethiri, scientia, est scientia, intellectum ad intelligum. Every light casts a shadow, yet without light, shadow cannot be. Dispel the darkness of ignorance. Bring the light of truth from the shadows. Ethri, ethri, scientia, est scientia, intellectum, ad intelligum. Every light casts a shadow, yet without light, shadow cannot be. Dispel the darkness of ignorance. Bring the light of truth from the shadows. Extinguish the candle, and then immediately relight the candle. So I'm gonna turn off the candle now, and I'm gonna immediately relight it. Ow! Okay, so the candle is now relit. Oh. It suddenly just got really, really cold in here. Okay, what is happening? Okay, okay. Um, guys, I literally have goosebumps all over my arms right now. You guys can't see it, but hold on. Oh, no, I'm trying to, you guys can't see it, but I just promise you guys, I'm like legitimately scared right now. Um, okay, wait, listen. If you hear or sense nothing, the rituals of fail, do not proceed. Extinguish the candle and vacate the premises. Do not return until after sunrise. If you hear or sense something, the ritual has succeeded. Note, you may proceed. What you hear or sense may vary from player to player. Simply put, if you no longer feel like you are alone, then you have succeeded. I actually feel like I'm, it says turn around. Yo, I'm actually tripping out. What the f Yo, I'm actually scared right now. Do I keep staring at the mirror? Do I look forward? What do I do? Okay, I'm gonna read the instructions. Um, it says turn around. So I've turned around and I, I have goosebumps all over my body right now. Normally you guys can never see the hairs on my arms and they're all standing up right now. You will sense a question rising up out of the darkness, either spoken aloud or perhaps in your own mind, answer it as correctly as possible. If your answer is deemed acceptable, you may ask a question of your own. Your correspondent's answer will be truthful. Make sure you remember how they respond. You may ask a question you wish, with one exception. Do not ask your correspondent about themselves in any way, shape, or form. If you slip up and ask an unpermitted question, proceed as if your answer had been deemed unacceptable. It, I feel like it wants to know my name. Do I write it down or do I say it? It's gonna say it. My name is Ali. If your answer is deemed acceptable, you may ask a question of your own. Your correspondent's answer will always be truthful. Okay, so I guess I can ask them a question now. I don't know if mine was acceptable or not. Okay, so what do I ask them? 
Um, is my house safe? The flame is literally burning very bright right now. Right after I asked that question. Now the camera's defocusing. No way. Look how bright it literally just got after I asked that question. I think that's a good sign, right? That should be a good sign. He made my... it Whatever it is made my candle brighter. Wow, this is freaking me out. It says I can keep asking questions as long as my answers are deemed acceptable. So I just have to wait till I feel like it asked me a question. I've been here for about five months. Can you tell me what happened here? I don't hear anything. I'll try to stick to yes on the questions. I think it wants to communicate by making this brighter or smaller, maybe, if that even makes sense. But when he, I think when he answered yes the first time, um, it went brighter, unless yes, I don't know. I really don't know. I'm going to assume that bright means good. Um, is there an afterlife? I feel warm. I feel very warm right now. I think that's a good sign. I'm going to ask him another question. Is my house okay to be in? Is it safe in here? Is it safe to be in this house? The candle's still very lit. It just got really cold though. And it's getting a little bit smaller. Um, do you not like me asking that question? Okay, it just got really cold in here. I don't think he likes these questions. Um, oh man. Guys, I'm kind of scared right now. I feel like put this over here that's good is there anything you want to know about me he's not answering anymore before I would kind of, maybe I should stick to yes or no questions are you upset are you mad at us Are you upset? Are you mad at us? <laughs> I swear to God, I did not blow that out. That match literally just went out by itself quickly. Okay, I think I blew that one out. Alexa, turn on office. Okay. Oh no, I didn't say farewell. Thank you, oh crap. 
Oh no. Thank you for your knowledge. Return now to the shadows. Thank you for your knowledge. Return now to the shadows. Thank you for your knowledge. Return now to the shadows. Thank you for your knowledge. Return now to the shadows. Guys, the cam the candle fell after I asked if this place was safe. Let's go see the dogs so we can get some like wholesomeness in this. I just came to check up on the dogs. They all seem fine and dandy. There they are being cute as hell. All three of them and this guy it's just an absolute stunner. Fun fact, this was the first one I got out of the six. Kovu was my first, um, he wasn't my first cat, but he was my first long-term cat. So, he was, he was good. He was my first cat. And then came Thor. Then came Thor. And then when I started dating Emma, uh, we, I guess these two became my dogs. Kovu and Milo. And then my brother came home with this absolute gem of a specimen. This beautiful, beautiful schmuck of a dog who is currently, I honestly have no idea what he's trying to do right now. He's got a little bone over there and he can't get it. There you go, baby. There you go. There you go, bud. So Max was the most recent, or no he wasn't, Luna, my little black cat, well, my black cat, right here, this beautiful cat right here is my final cat. So I actually have to go to the gym, then I'm going to come back home and then sleep for the rest of the day because that's what I do sometimes. <laughs> uh, then I gotta edit for you guys, but okay. So the reason why I showed you guys the dogs and talked about the stories, I find that when I do scary stuff, I like to show my pets uh, because they get me back to reality and kind of away from the scare. Uh, it's kind of like eye bleach, you know what I mean? You see something scary and you want to bleach your eyes with wholesomeness. That's why I show my pets and that's why I always just love explaining them, talking about them with you guys after I do something scary because it helps me and I hope it helps you get out of the scare mode and just kind of back to reality. <laughs> I don't know, that's what I do. Anyways. I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. Follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. Um, my merch is out. Check out the link in my description below. Canamerch.com. Check out the Ali H collection. Grab your merch. Check out the Never Give Up collection because it is limited time only. Let me know if you guys want me to do more ritual games like this because I will. I do enjoy them. They're pretty fun. So let me know in the comment section below. I love you guys and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.